So during the current Steam Indie Summer something event, uh, there are a lot of people showcasing their games through playable demos, and one of them is The Rift Breaker. And I've been looking at this for a long, long while, because I thought it looked really interesting and right up my alley, and now that I've gotten to play this demo, which is a prologue, I think I'm absolutely right, and I am very much looking forward to this one. So I thought we'll take a quick look at this, and we're remembering this is a pre-alpha build of Riftbreaker, and we might experience various problems and stuff. So, okay, we already know the controls, and this, again, is an alpha, and just visually speaking, it's pretty darn amazing. And you can destroy this stuff and pick up things from the destroyed stuff. That's pretty neat. So last time I played through this, I built my base here. But I think here you see those red dogs. The red dogs are the ones that try to kill you. The blue dogs just kind of run away from you. But you play this uh, controlling with WASD, as you would um, a game like World of Warcraft or something. And you play this mech here. I think we'll set up our base here this time. Let's clear a little bit around where we want it. Let's make some space in this area. And the point is to build a base, to defend the base, against alien attack. And to do that, we need some resources. And you can mine yourself by holding down space on top of resource... Um, Deposits and you can see up here how it goes up And it tells you Ooh, we got enough resources now We'll just keep walking around a little bit we got this push forward as well Kill more things so okay you switch basically between building and not building and in the building mode, you got all these things that you can build, and we need to build an HQ, which I will build uh, somewhere close by here, I think. Now we shoot out this little cube, which just builds around there. Alrighty, and now what we want to do is we build some extractors here on top of these resources. And we can still mine resources as we wait for our buildings to be built. And just start some more. I'm not going to cover up all of this area. With mines. So power, of course, you need to run things, and you can build some storage facilities for power as well. And solar only works throughout the day, so we will build a few solar panels here, and you can see these blue lines popping up there and these are basically power lines connecting everything so now these start and we'll add some we'll add some power storage things I think I need to turn off the sound on the tutorial stuff let's do that a little bit settings uh, sound dialogue let's turn this off and you just gotta listen to me so we build this stuff and then you build some defenses around and then the fun begins you can see we have a 
plus minus economy here and right now we have exactly enough power as we need but uh, that's not going to help us during the night because during the night the solar panels don't work so let's build a carbonium based um, power plant which has to sit on top of the carbonium and let's build a few more power options let's build some wind turbines to just add to all this and you can see we can have up to 21,000 energy in storage which is pretty darn good you can build storage also for your resources which I very much recommend doing but now energy consumption and production looks amazing so let us build some storage for ore as well I think we'll put it here just to put it thematically sensible and let's put another gathering station right next to it and now comes the time of day where we should build up some defenses you can see over here an indicator from where the enemy might come so we are going to use the natural landscape as well and build double walls straight off because the enemy can't pass through solid stone I'm just keeping my left mouse cursor pressed here as we collect this and I'm going to stand on top of this and help a little with the gathering this reminds me a whole lot of total annihilation or supreme commander in that you have this main unit that is your worker unit that you personally well you control this one much more directly than you would have in supreme commander or similar games we'll just keep building our walls so we are safe and sound we can cut this off like that over here I don't really trust this flat area we'll build this a little bit stronger for the beginning you don't really need to worry all that much about uh, building too many defenses but you definitely should have some the defenses of course need to be powered as well so we want to build a little turret we'll put it back here so we can put more defensive walls in front of it and these need several things they need power and they need AI cores to support them. You can see up here we have two out of four AI cores because we have two turrets so far. We can have up to four. And what you see the radius, of course, on where we can build. Let's do that. And now we need to connect these turrets to the power grid. And I really love power grid stuff. I enjoy that in games. Man, that stuff is just fantastic to me. I really love that kind of gameplay all these lines and everything glows nicely speaking of glows nicely you can put down a few lamps as well if you want add these to the back to illuminate this a little bit further and you can see they really do help you see a bit better let us increase our defenses here and now it tells us we need an IR hub to build more turrets so of course right now we're putting ourselves behind walls from which we can't escape but we could build a gate but for now first thing we need to check is ooh, our power is going down like crazy so we definitely need some more wind turbines in hopes of helping with offsetting this these produce very little power but they run throughout the day let us build also some more solar panels here for when the day returns the good thing here the enemy are not going to appear until we got the six towers built I don't think so we needn't worry all that much about it right now we are at plus power but I don't trust this let's also build some more 
power storages maybe in our backyard this will be what we call our backyard more power storage and now you can see it already it's a beautiful science fictiony um base that we've built here keep gathering so we can keep building more turrets Which I can't build because we don't have enough AI cores. So let's build some AI cores in our backyard as well. We'll put it. We'll put it here. Yeah. And we can upgrade our walls a little bit more by building some additional lines of defense. And let's place down a gate. We rotate this. So we also got a way out again. Let's reinforce our walls down here too. Put down one little turret. Just in case something ever shows up on this side. Let's give it a light as well. And build a little pathway of energy down to it. If you build something on top of those nodes, then whatever you connected to the power is going to lose its power again. What's really neat is you can build these little platforms here. And these are for your mech to walk upon. Because you can shoot as well, as you can see. But if I shoot like this, I hit the walls. Except for when I walk up on here, then I can shoot down. <laughs> and I love that. You have to build your little own little areas of shooty outy places so now the solar panels are doing their work and pushing our storages to the brim which is what we're going to need if we want to survive night assaults of various types and occasions let's build something here we want another light on the back there because i enjoyed that as a concept now we build a wall around it, make it a little bit stronger there. And we need no more turrets and basic attack is coming. You see down here you have some additional abilities so you can put down, well, explosions if you do what I just did. Or you can put down mines, if you press, press 3. And the enemy is going to have to pass through these and probably very much kill themselves on them to get through to you. We're going to look at exactly one attack because damn, you, you should, if you think any of this looks enjoyable so far, go and play this. I swear, I don't even know how this is so polished already. Um, I hope it's not because, well, they put this one functional level in there and nothing is going to be done until it's released, but there's no release date yet. So I have some hopes that this might actually turn out fairly well. Let's build ourselves some platforms here along this wall so we can potentially help. And you can see how the swarm of the enemy is just coming in here. And apparently, I, I don't know how, but you can switch your weapons and we switch to some sort of explosive. Really don't know how I do that. I've done it in the past too, and it's not the mouse wheel, it's none of the buttons you expect. But now that we've killed all these, you can see the cadavers and pick up some items which then can be used in uh, in the, the armory. You, you basically got this inventory management where you can switch around weapons, build your new weapons, have these mod things. This one we just picked up, so increase the number of cl cluster projectiles spawned when a target is hit. So, I mean, all of these are going to make a lot of sense. Um, I want a bigger, a bigger enemy to appear. Oh, look, there was a special thingy dropped right on top of our wall. There's a bunch of enemies sitting around there. Now, these are not the only types of enemies. There are more enemies, more types of enemies. I believe if we go north here, there should be a big, big, big pile of enemies, but can see how diverse this already is. 
See, there are some that are spitting at us down here in the trees. But we just destroy everything. I don't know, more enemies. I honestly think this looked a little bit different last time I played this. I can't remember these big lush forests. But that's great. I love this. This is... This looks like an alien world and we are powerful big mech thingy. Look at these. Look at these big boys. The only gripe I have right now is the sound design. Like the impacts and the fighting of the enemies it just doesn't feel powerful enough. It doesn't feel visceral enough. It, it's not reinforcing how much destruction you rain down upon the enemy. Um, feels a little bit weird, I must say. Um, but I'm hopeful that this does remain my only objection to this and my only criticism I have because look at all this. This is what I want from a hack and slash. I want a lot of explodey thingies. I want hundreds of enemies falling before me because I am the powerful thing. They are the weak thing. They can give me trouble if they team up, you know, that, that's what I'm afraid of. But if I come on my own terms, I'm the big bad one. I'm the one destroying everything. That's what hack and slash should be. And a lot of colorful stuff flying around and popping up and happening. And it's just, I can't tell you, this is so enjoyable to me. And I'm so looking forward to this being released. It's one of those games where I would happily pre-order it just to kind of show that there is interest in this. But damn it is if that is not a fantastic game. And also Rift Breaker because you can teleport to your rifts here and you can build more of these rifts so you can go from wherever you are to wherever you want to be. You repair on top of your base. If you need repairs, you have your life down here and your shields as well. I swear, honestly, this this is a this is a absolutely dreamy game to me. And it works so well already. Honestly, this means that the storage is full, so if we wanted to collect more of these, we would, we would have to build more storages, which I am very happy to do. Let's build some more storages here. Right there. Let's make it a bit harder for us to move. And this too, like if, if you play this for a while, probably you're going to start setting up your bases in certain ways where you have an easier time of navigating them, where you have specific defensive perimeters and then perimeters in the back and it's not as difficult as the whole you know factoria thing it's a much more um pff, lower variant of it i know that games like these exist but this looks fantastic this this reminds me so much of uh what was it called um starship troopers those old movies if any of you remember those man this game i swear and the light and everything it's just I've been gushing for 18 minutes, uh, the demo is still out on Steam, at least as of right now. I hope it will be once I am done uploading this and I just, just go and play it. If you have any interest in base building, defensive building, fighting of hordes and hordes of enemies and running around in a giant mech that shoots rockets or Gatling guns or whatever, just do it. <laughs> you can't go wrong with it. This is just amazing fun. It's just this one level, but you can apparently replay it as often as you want. Uh, take different approaches, do different things. Yeah, it's fantastic is all I have to say here.